Let me focus on um, Step on it. Uh, today, I like to introduce the um, sex transforms application on the um, ECG uh, signal analysis. A slightly different, but also uh, very similar. It's a time series analysis but we confer to the uh, image and then uh, use the SAC to do the uh, analysis. And the key thing is we, we like to do on-device training. The whole effort is you know, to train the model locally. So particularly for this medical, uh, digital medical information, I don't like to see my personal uh, medical record uh, upload to the cloud. So I just you know, train locally and just send the results or the model itself uh, to the uh, re relative uh, party. Um, first, I just quickly, exp a lot of people are probably very familiar with this data set, but typically our uh, heart has a upper uh, atri uh, atrial, uh, the, it is, uh, electric system of heart we're detecting. So you have uh, SA node, um, that's like uh, generate the electricity, and then you propagate down to the uh, VA node, and this becomes narrower, so this, the, the propagation uh, getting slower down, and then uh, you go down to the uh, final uh, uh, area, the, the little uh, uh, fiber down, down there. And typically, for no reason, they classify the first uh, peak on the upper level uh, called P uh, wave, and the QRS is uh, depolarization, repolarization, and the last one to the bottom is the T wave. So pretty much the three section, and the variation of that uh, can indicate uh, which part of the um, heart may have a problem. Of course, uh, um, Back to old days, the most easy one is just do a Fourier transform. So we can see the peak to peak. The heartbeat is faster or slow. That's the uh, easiest uh, indication. And these days, uh, we like to use the deep learning to build a more sophisticated model. And it's slightly different than the heart attack, which is like the plumbing, plumbing system of your heart have a problem. Here is the cardiac arrest, which means your um, electric system of the heart has a problem. And typically, um, well, these days, you know, people make the um, smart clothes. Uh, this is just schematic of the uh, uh, you know, experimental system. Basically, you can buy all these uh, components uh, relatively uh, very low cost, okay, a couple of dollars. And the first one is just three lead. It's a positive, uh, negative, and the ground. Uh, but it's analog signal, so you have a, a A to D converter with amplifier, and then we try to build a model on the uh, um, Raspberry Pi or um, on uh, embedded system. And um, and I have no, no relationship to this company. I just see it. It's from Taiwan. Uh, it's from my old university, National Chengkong University. And this professor has this startup. And they have a whole line of uh, um, smart uh, device. And it's at uh, 49, if anyone wants to see it, you can see it. And here is another one.
device itself is uh, actually what's the bit is the battery because battery charge is a large part. The device itself is relatively small and typically after you charge your device How do I create a warning system? And then also, once we have this, uh, once we have this um, data, actually we we be able to um, manage the static case, which means when we are eating or uh, you know sleeping, whatever, or when we're walking or uh, play tennis. Then also we can monitor it uh, two weeks all the way. So those data collect and try to do some uh, classification. Um, yes, you are normal, no, you, you have a little bit of risk, or uh -oh, you have a very high risk. That's the intention.